Hey, thanks for joining me on Just Cook with Michael. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple sushi dish. Uh, it's going to be salmon sushi. Uh, so the ingredients are going to be about four ounces of salmon, some medium grain rice, water. Uh, after the rice is cooked, we're going to make a mixture of rice wine vinegar, sugar, and salt. That gives it gives uh, the rice its traditional sushi flavor. Uh, as garnish, we're going to have some pickled ginger, uh, the nori or seaweed. We're going to use, but we're not going to roll it. It's just going to be laid on top and some teriyaki sauce to accompany it and also some green onions that will go with the dish. So let's get started. Okay, the first step to making sushi rice is to rinse your rice about three to five times until there's no more starch in the dish. So you can see that is a little cloudy, so I will rinse it about three to five times with uh, clean water and I'll just strain it in the strainer to get out the starchy water and you basically do that until it is completely clear so right there you can see it's pretty milky so I'll rinse that out second time I'm using one cup of medium grain rice depending on how many people you're going to have you could obviously use more that is still very milky this is the third rinsing. I could notice it's a little clearer now. S still not there though. As you can see it's still a little milky there. So I'll rinse that out. This is the fourth rinse. And that is definitely clear for the first time. I could kind of see the rice through the water. We'll rinse this one more time. And that looks pretty clear. So this will be the final rinse. So it took about five rinses in order to clear the starch from the rice. And now the rice is ready to be cooked. <clears throat> Next, we are going to add one and a quarter cups of water to cook the rice. So again, that's one cup of rice, one and a quarter cup of water. Here's the rice that I rinsed out. I'm going to bring this water to a boil, then I'm gonna finish it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, if you cook rice a lot, rice cookers are a great way to go. If not, I like to put the rice in the oven just cause the even distribution of heat around the whole pan keeps it from burning on the bottom. It's beneficial to have a pan that has a thick bottom. That way your pan does not have hot spots and it's less likely to want to burn. But again, I've always liked doing it in the oven. Um, I don't have a rice cooker and I just find it has good even distribution of heat and cooks very evenly and doesn't burn. When I worked at hotels, that's the way we did it quite often. We'd have huge pans of rice, probably, you know, making five gallons at a time. And we always started them on the stovetop in these ginormous pans and then after finished them in the oven. So that is boiling. My oven is at 400 and I will put that in for about 10 minutes. Next, I'll cut some green onions for garnish. I'm cutting these on a pretty thin angle just to sprinkle on the dish. It's about a 45 degree angle I'm doing there. And I'll cut some bigger pieces as garnish also. The next step is I seasoned it with a little bit of kosher salt throughout. I'm gonna sear this in just a little bit probably just about 30 seconds or less on each side just to give it a really quick sear. Next, we'll make the rice wine vinegar preparation. For this, we have three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Put that in a little saute pan. One tablespoon of cane sugar. One half teaspoon of salt. And I am just gonna put this over a flame and just dissolve the mixture. And then this will be poured over the rice once it is cooked. That only took about two minutes on the fire and the rice wine vinegar, the sugar, and the salt is all dissolved together. Okay, the rice is cooked. It only took about 12 minutes and you can see it looks really nice. We'll let that rest for about 10 minutes and then we'll mix in our rice wine vinegar mixture. Okay, here we go. The rice has been resting for about 10 minutes. It smells wonderful. And we're going to mix in the rice wine vinegar, sugar, salt mixture. So kind of break that up a little bit. See it's nice and starchy and sticky down there. 
and just kind of drizzle that throughout the rice. This is good enough for about three to four salmon dishes. Just make more depending on how many people you have in your party. All right, the next step in the process is to sear the salmon. Only about 10 seconds on each side. This pan is very hot. I'll put a little water on my fingers. You can see it disappears right away, very hot pan. I dried my salmon off with a paper towel to make sure it's nice and dry. We don't want it steaming in the pan, just a quick sear. I have some peanut oil I'm gonna put in there, about a half a tablespoon. You could use um, corn oil, any oil that has a higher smoking point. That looks good. And then again, just about 10 seconds on each side. Put it Again, put it in away from you. I pulled that off and put it on a cool pan right away. If you don't like your salmon very raw, this is definitely just a sear, so it's gonna be very raw in the middle. You could, you know, cook it for maybe a minute on each side. Just do it to your preference. Okay, everything's smelling really good. We're gonna plate up the dish. We have our rice that's ready to go. I have, um, I cut up the nori, the seaweed, into a rectangle shape. I, I layered about three pieces. They, in this preparation, they come in about two by two squares. Sometimes they'll be bigger sheets, cut them to whatever you, you like. I have a little cookie mold that I'm gonna use. You could either form it with your hand or do your best to shape it in your desired shape there. All right, next we will slice up the salmon in thin slices. Pat it dry a little bit. Put it on my cutting board. And here you just want to go at about a 45 degree angle. Very sharp knife. Again, let the knife do the cutting for you. I'm barely putting any pressure on the knife. In fact, if anything, I'm almost pulling up on the knife a little bit just to make sure that I'm not squashing the salmon. Just do about a 45 degree angle all the way through. See those look beautiful. And we'll spread these out a little bit. This will go right on the rice. And that's why I tend to like these Japanese cleavers, just because they tend to work so well as a, a spatula also. Okay, so we have our salmon sliced up on the sushi rice. We're gonna drizzle it with some teriyaki sauce, garnish it with some green scallions or green onions. I'll put some pickled ginger there also. Next, we'll sprinkle some green onions that are Cut at about a 45 degree angle around the dish. And that is complete. Now we'll just drizzle the teriyaki sauce around it. There's your completed dish. Now you can cook this too. Simple sushi, salmon dish. You don't have to roll it. Pretty easy preparation. 